I think I know. I think I know what I have to do. I think I know what I have to do now. Maybe this is blurry because I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> I think it was. I can't live. Oh man, I'm doing negative things. I can't live like this anymore. It is blurry. There's, there's too much. The fan's on. I don't know if that's gonna mess things up. It's blurry. I don't know. I'm trying to be serious here. I'm trying to work things out. Maybe. The camera knows that I'll feel more comfortable if I can't see myself. I'm not sure about the audio quality on this camera. I, I stopped using it because it went <laughs> the whole time. I fit the fans on because it's so odd. It's been 100 degrees in most of your language. That's about 35 for the longest time. Which I like. I feel guilty when I don't go out on warm, sunny days. But I also have to contend with a lot of things that I have going on here. And I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it today, even though there's no place to put this stuff. And the toy room is already completely... Oh! The toy room is completely full. I'm gonna pull it together today. If I s make myself accountable, and I'm going to thrive if I set up at least the space that I spend the most time in. That's the that's the that's the goal. That's the goal today. That's the goal today. I can't, oh, I can't get up. I'm so old. Oh, that's also. I we need to discuss that too. That fan. I know it's going to be a problem. <laughs> Not this camera. I know it's going to be a problem. Obviously. What is going on? What is going on? Where am I not supposed to hold it? I do have to get over. I do have to accept my age. It's okay to be old. Sometimes I felt it just just um, moments ago I felt that it's okay it's fine as far set back as I am as I was as lost youth as I have, as, what, how, how am I supposed to structure that sentence, as lost my youth was, yeah, I only have now to appreciate, and I can appreciate how youthful I am. I gotta get my shit together though. Social media is too hard for me. I can't. I can't do it anymore, or at least I can't want to do the way that I want to do it. I mean, I love, I love, I love it. And I believe that you can find good, inspiring things there. But 
I can't put the expectations on myself anymore for that. That's really good. This is good. This is good. I'm really hungry. I don't let myself eat. I mean, I do let myself eat. I can only really afford to eat potatoes and I have been eating other things. Some good, some bad. But I, I like potatoes, so it's not, that's not all bad. And I eat way too much and I have to stop doing that and I don't know how to, I don't know how to stop doing that. I have to get over I ha I'm tr this is I'm trying to be a new positive person but I also have to and you're not supposed to talk about any of the things that you have to get but I have to get over the, the mo money's never been a problem so it I think what I have to get over is m the idea that enough money would solve all my problems. Even though I know it's true. But I have to not let it be true. Because it's the only thing that's missing. Every day, every minute, every hour, wait, every day, every hour, every minute is bliss and joy for me. But I've got all these struggles that hmm, that maybe they're, they're, they're in the way this video might be really hard to watch because it's so slow. Anyway, I don't know, this feels experimental or a new beginning. There's always new beginnings for me though, isn't there? And then it's all the same, it's all the same stuff. I gotta get this room cleared out. because that is how I envision a perfect future. Peace of mind, openness, freedom. When I envision my perfect life, that's what I, that's what I see, that's what I feel. So that's what I have to do in my environment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, trees. I have a lot of totes and a lot of stuff to put in them. And there's probably some boxes and bins and totes that I have of things that I don't need anymore. But for now, I do have to put the stuff in boxes to immediately clean up this space. I, I, I have decided that is the best thing to do, to make one clear space. And then I can grab a box, and then I can process one box at a time. And I have done this my whole entire life, and it has worked. But I'm... this is... I love that my work is my life, and that I love what I have. So, this is all good. And this will work for me. I think, I guess it's just, it's a little more overwhelming right now, but it's also at a point where I've already been doing this. I just have to focus on the most important thing and maybe maybe I am going to take a YouTube break at least a toy YouTube break because that that's not working 
this isn't working either but this is this is something that can be helpful and can be the part of social media creating things that I actually in, enjoy with no stress there's no stress why is there stress with toys oh it's it's overwhelming but it doesn't have to be either because I have things that I really enjoy and things that I can really do there I just need to make the space let's open the space is that the name of this video and for those of you who are worried about my diet, I did go to the doctor after eating six months of mostly just potatoes and over six months. And he said that my results were what they show people of what you want to aim for. So everything's good. B12, everything. I equate that to not um, peeling, trying not to peel the potatoes as much as possible. Eat that dirt, eat that skin. I'm healthy. Potatoes are good. There is a reason they tell you to declutter and not try to organize first, try to get rid of stuff. <sighs> Because I just, I had to s organize the ba the basement, to organize the toy room, to organize this room. But I, in, in my case, it has to be done. I can't wait. I can't function without having some space. And I thought it was going to be impossible. I almost said, I can't, uh, there's no place to put this stuff. I can't do it. I don't understand because I did have this room pretty much cleared out. I don't know. I'm, I must have accumulated even more stuff, or it's not as organized. You know what? I did accumulate more stuff. People sent me things. I had, I, this was loaded with bins. So those are gone now, but there's still so much stuff around here. Will it happen tonight? I had to take a shower. It's... To, to cool myself off. I did not dry myself off. I'm pooling down that way. It's still like 100 Fahrenheit. Very muggy. Uh, I have to get some food. I'll probably... I, potatoes take an hour to make. I, I can't... I, I'm getting so... I'm gonna probably have to pick up some baked goods. Maybe I'll pick up pineapple and cottage cheese. I really like that. Um, cheese is something that I don't eat anymore, but I don't exactly call myself vegan, but I, I tend not to eat meat, and I did have hot dogs the other day, too. They were more ethical ones, N antibiotic, hormone-free, <sighs> but again, that's not really in the budget either. But maybe I'm going to get a discount pie or something, something just eat fast. I, I think that uh, pineapple and cottage cheese is on sale, so that might even be cheaper than that, and it's quite substantial. And then I could eat that for nourishment and then get enough energy to cut up some potatoes. So uh, that, that might be what's happening now. I'm not going to take you to the grocery store yet. I'm not going to start vlogging. I'm not going to... Yeah, I, I just came up with this. I'm going to vlog everything, everywhere, all the time, as soon as I reach 1,000 subscribers, which is really close. Because, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I wonder if I'm going to daily vlog. It's another question for myself. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. I don't even know what time it is. I don't know how many hours I've been doing this. It's still daylight out, so that's a positive sign. i got to put on some clothes and get some food, though, right now. Okay, it's a cooler day today, even though it's still really hot in this room. 
I opened up a spider window. I got my vinegar in a spray bottle because baby spiders come in this window. I'm just spraying vinegar around the perimeter of the screen because the spiders won't like that. My camera just shut off. I don't know if it's the battery or not. Maybe I wasn't recording. Oh yeah, it's the battery. What the what? What am I gonna do? These batteries don't work anymore, it seems. I guess I'm gonna stop recording. I'm gonna mow the front lawn. I'm going to probably clean the pool. I guess I'll be vlogging old style. That's why I never get anything done. But there's too many things to do. Well, I guess I get things done, don't I? Uh, I have three parcels, toys that I sold, to take to the post office. I have to do laundry. Definitely have to do laundry. I have whites. I don't even know if I'll wash the oh yeah, there's bed sheets. And then I guess I I guess I won't exercise today because I did hurt my back lifting I think cement things around outside. So maybe I'll we'll take a little break. Actually I start to feel good and sometimes it's exercising is good. Hmm. I guess I probably will. I have cramps. Maybe it's because, oh, I ended up eating hot dogs with cottage cheese on them. That sounds weird. On raisin bread. So it was a cheat day. Again, the hot dogs were more ethical. Naturally raised. No antibiotics. They were made of pork. And then raisin bread wasn't good in any way. Uh... And yeah, I put ketchup and mustard and relish on them that I had from before. And cottage cheese, which is just odd. But I didn't open up the can of pineapple that I bought. Even though frozen pineapple would definitely be better, it's more expensive. I did end up eating the can of pineapple afterwards though, so I really splurged. Today, just potatoes. I have to make sure that I don't make myself so hungry that I can't wait anymore today. But, hmm, I should be able to do it anyway. I mean, this is intermittent fasting, one meal a day that I do. I should be able to wait long for the potatoes. Okay, and also I'm gonna shave outside, which I've been doing because things that I have to do that I can do outside. So it gets me outside and I'm getting things done at the same time. That's as multitasking as this guy gets. I have to take these clothes that have been hanging since the last time I did laundry too. I have to do darks and lights. I have no outside towels clean. Probably should wash my inside towels too. I wonder how long this video will be. It's two days. This is not vlogging every day. This is two days, but maybe I'll put it up today and then I'll continue vlogging. Maybe I'll edit it outside too. We'll see. Now that you can see the difference between the footage, do you really, do you like, I'm gonna have to buy batteries now because my old batteries aren't working. Uh, I'm recharging the one battery that is working. They're getting fatter. They're expanding, so I know that they're broken. They'll explode or something, so I probably shouldn't use them. Yeah, do you like the other footage better? Or does it matter? Because I'm such a great storyteller, and my days are just so interesting. Chores. I probably should have split these videos up into two. This is going to be a long two days in the life of laundry. Whites in. It takes two and a half hours to do a load of laundry, so I might have to do two more. That's eight hours without folding. I'll do that while watching something, I guess. Um, now, out to the pool. Garage is messy. Have to do yard work. So my plan is to shave. Then I'm going to leaf blow around the pool because I'm gonna have to vacuum that later. But I gotta 
get changed into my proper shaving attire. These are the shorts for mowing front yard work, back yard work. Shaving outside is so much better that you can really see what you're doing. Uh, hair is growing out of my nose. I try to pluck it, it really hurts. I might try some wax in there. I guess that's better than shaving. Look how gray my hair looks outside. Did I, have I talked in this video about struggling with youth and not struggling anymore? Maybe I shouldn't shave and just let a gray beard grow too. I don't think I feel comfortable reviewing toys, looking older, funny, but I don't mind doing it without a shirt on, but I guess that's a whole other issue. Um, I guess I feel I have to be youthful, it's so, it looks so funny in some light, as you know from seeing my other videos, it doesn't look this it catches the light weird weird nobody looks good in direct sunlight or overhead sunlight right um okay um i got a leaf blow of the round the pool before i start cleaning inside of it but i'll probably mow the front lawn before i do that i mentioned in the video i don't think i uploaded the video is that it's such a constant battle there's always there's so many different trees around you there's always something blossoming and blooming and falling in the pool and it's such a disaster i wonder if i i did a, i recorded a pool maintenance video but i don't know if i'll ever put it up on youtube i wear i wear i wear a speedo because from from modeling because you don't want to have tan lines in weird places so you always want to make sure and i guess you never know when those photo opportunities are coming. But, however, I don't want to be, I don't even, yeah, I don't enjoy being in front of the camera anymore. I don't, I, I enjoy vlogging, that's fine. But I don't want anyone taking pictures of me anymore. It's weird. I like, I like seeing, I like seeing myself. I don't like seeing myself. And that comes through in video. Um, oh yeah, leaf blowing. My stomach feels so bad. I think I just need to... I, I, I don't know this feeling because it doesn't feel bloated, but it just feels crampy. I think I just need to have a... I'm probably lactose intolerant. I probably shouldn't be. I had a, a pimples or... Well, it must be because I, I have been eating the cottage cheese because it's really the only different thing that I've, I haven't had cheese in so long. Yeah, I probably shouldn't eat cheese or meat. Get to work. Okay, so normally I will, the, the steps are, I will mow whatever I can mow here to keep it short and under control. Then I will leaf blow the stuff off of the edge so that once I clean the pool, it won't get dirty again. But however, stuff just keeps falling. So it does it, I don't know if it makes sense. So now I'm going to um, clean out the pool. I'm gonna skim the pool with a net and then I will vacuum. I guess it's best to wait until I later to vacuum anyway because you can wait for all that dirt to settle to the bottom. So I am going to first take everything off of the surface. I'm gonna scoop out the bucket and then the, the skimmer bucket that old that collects all of the debris and then I will vacuum later, but yeah, because I'm gonna go mow the front lawn, which I'm not gonna show you the front of my house, obviously.
things, then you know you're not you're not allowed. You're not supposed to come here. Do not come here. Ever. My salt water chlorine generator broke, so I've been having to test the water and adding my own chlorine. One, two, and I never can tell if the chlorine is high enough or not. Ugh. I think, I think, I think it's okay. I don't know if, I don't know if I'm at a higher. Do you think that's too much chlorine? Or do you think it matches that? Anyway, I'd rather have too much. I think it's perfect. And it's on the high end, which is good. Because that means that, and then everything else is bouncing nicely. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm good. That means I can jump in before I do front yard work. You actually can't see my house from the street. That doesn't mean I'm gonna show you myself mowing the front yard. I haven't changed my shorts yet. It's also garbage day, so I have to bring in the garbage and whatnot. Just like you have to sort the basement before you can sort the toy room to sort the bedroom. Weeds, leave raking, and then I can finally mow. I need to be able to jump in the pool before I can, uh, in between stages of what I'm doing outside, but I had to make sure that my dirty areas were clean because I, I, I'm sanitary like that. And yeah. <laughs> and even though I'm the only one that swims in the pool, nonetheless, oh, and plus I haven't, I haven't even done, I have done something this morning. I did a little bit this morning, but I need to do more because I still feel really uncomfortable. I feel like something bad is going to happen later, explosive. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll just... maybe... Uh, TMI. Anyway, back out, jump in pool, finish mowing. It'll... Um, uh, three, three hours are gone already. Like, this is... I don't even want, I love being outside, I love doing the stuff, it, it's totally fine, but where, where do I fit it in by the time I'm done? Like, I, I think my back is feeling better, I should exercise, usually I exercise in between chores, I guess I'll start doing that when I'm vacuuming the pool. This, this is living, okay, so basically, I love all this. This is the this is the perfect life for me. However, I'm not making any money. Do maybe I am making money? No. If I get a thousand subscribers, then I can start making money doing this stuff. So tell your friends. Look how non-gray my hair looks inside. Now I'm back testing out the other camera again. I've got some bedding, and the whites are drying. I dry my whites. I don't dry my darks. I still have all kinds of stuff in the front yard to do. I have lots of raking to do. Um, in the middle part where no grass grows, oh, I have to mow some lawn there. I have to bring in the bins because the garbage man did just come. And I'm going to, I, I'm going to start vacuuming the pool and uh, exercising, I guess, now. Because being healthy is important. I don't, I use um, environment, 
I have st st I have stopped using non-environmental um, or I, I used to buy the very best. I never made a lot of money, never made very much money, but I always bought like organic produce and the best quality food I could get. Um, I have stopped doing that because things are really bad. But one thing that I don't, I always buy uh, non-chemical cleaners and detergents because I, I, first of all, I do not like the smell of that stuff and it just, well, it, that goes along with it. It just feels toxic and it, and it's gross. It, it makes me, it makes me sick and gives me rashes and stuff like that. Or I guess it used to, I just don't like chemicals. It, they, when I'm breathing, they make me feel nauseous basically. Uh, yeah, I guess I am going to vacuum and exercise and I have, I'm going to bring in the bins and there's a little bit of the lawn in the in the yard here that actually grows. Most of the stuff doesn't grow for weeks. So I have to mow that, even though I did mow that three days ago. Yeah. Am I still recording? I did it all wrong. I wanted to be here you know, in my skimpy bathing suit when it was all sunny, but I guess I didn't realize that the front yard was gonna take so long and it's not even done yet. I have to go back and finish. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow because I still do have to take packages to the post office. And uh, I mean, that usually turns into a whole day in itself because then I have to check the stores for stuff when since I'm in the area maybe today I will take some donations and get a coupon because I do have some toy apparatus that I found yesterday that I'm going to uh, definitely donate I can't sell it or anything so I can donate it and then get percent off coupons for when I find cool vintage stuff if you want to know what I do, again, because this place is so mess, it's so nature-y, all the trees, I have all of this mud and debris. There was a storm yesterday, so it gets really bad, but it gets bad every day. So I could do it every day. I do it maybe every second day. Sometimes I do it every day because I have to do it because it eats up any debris or something will use up the chlorine in the pool and then I just have to buy more chlorine. I guess people who have houses like this usually make enough money to have a pool boy. I'm the pool boy. It's the time. It's more time than money. And I better put it out there that I'm not complaining. I, uh, I don't need very much money. And I don't want to complain because you just get more of that. And I am talking about not having money, which you're not supposed to talk about that. You're supposed to talk about abundance. And then you have abundance and feel like you're in abundance. But I do feel abundant. And that's what you're supposed to do. The thing is, I've always felt abundant. I've always done what I wanted. I've always lived in pleasure and joy. And to be honest, the, the stuff, the st more, more abundance and more pleasure and more is supposed to come, but it seems to stay the same. But I'm, I'm okay with that. I am. Yeah, I'm just, but right now things are very difficult. But I'm, I'm working on this is this is me working on it, trying to fix, trying to fix the situation by being positive and doing the best I can. All of these things I have to do, I'm doing things that I have to do, and I'm living my life. And I like, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just getting, I'm getting, uh, I'm, I'm trying to do. I am doing everything with as much pleasure and happiness as possible. And there's lots, there's lots more to, there's lots more to do that don't bring me pleasure that I don't do, believe me. Yeah, I have the 
bottom of the pool. Crystal clear now, no dirt in it. However, look, it's already filled with debris from the trees. And I've only done one set of exercises. I've been liking to do four recently. I've, I've, most of my life, I've only done three, set, three sets of pull-ups and push-ups. I am so grateful that I love doing exercises outside. I don't like doing exercises in front of people. So even if there was like an outdoor, outdoor spot somewhere, I mean, in my backyard, I get to wear my little dinky trunks. And, uh, uh, yeah, okay, so I gotta get back to work. So I'm gonna jump in the pool. One more, that which invigorates me, which is better than, I don't know, eating an apple would be good to get me some energy. But instead, energy will come from cold pool water, and then another set, and then I'm gonna do the, skim out all of the stuff, uh, the debris again, and then do another set, and then uh, that'll be three sets that's good then I'll bring in the stuff from the front yard and, um, and then I have to take those packages because now we're running out of time and it's late for dinner now so then I have to make dinner which will take an hour but well that's after I get home will I buy stuff that's bad for me no I don't I think I think I'm in a good place where I'm just I'm I want to eat my potatoes I really just want to have potatoes so I think that's what I'm gonna have. Even though I might, it might be six o'clock before I have my potatoes. We'll see what happens. I like to dream and envision one day I can picture, I, I know the house I want to live in, I can picture it and I'm going to have a freezer and it's going to be full of organic frozen berries and I'll be able to have them whenever I want. I'll just pull out a bag of berries and eat them. before I work out, after, and before yoga classes. I would go to yoga classes. That was always the best community I had. The best, uh, I felt like I was spending time with people. And it was tolerable for me. Otherwise, I'm a recluse. But it was good to feel other people's energy. I don't really miss it. Tell you the truth, I do thrive in this this reality. I'm so grateful that I haven't gotten COVID, and I guess I do equate that to not um, socializing with anybody. I think that is how people are getting it. I'm not doing a very good fast job right now, but I did want to talk about my berry dream: unlimited frozen berries, different varieties.
I mean, how can I be anything but grateful, right? Wow. I'm gonna have to clean the filter, and then I have to, or backwash, then I have to hang um, the extension cords up. I have to bring in the, the, the hose. I had to rinse out the bin. I had to hang the hose, which is in such bad condition. I bring in the leaves and the buckets. I still have a lot to rake in the front yard, which I'll probably do that tomorrow or in two days. The pool is again full of leaves and debris, but there's only so much I can do. I will empty the skimmer once again, and I'll do one more set of exercises, probably right before I take the packages. It's not a good day to go shopping, so that's good, so I probably won't go anywhere. I'll just probably stop at Walmart to see what's new in the toy section, and that would be it, and see if they have any, like, discount pizza buns because I like to eat those even though I probably shouldn't and I don't want to get fat. Just berries. Berries and potatoes. I'm happy with potatoes though. I love my potato diet. Look at these pretty flowers over here. They're so big. I don't, I don't know what they're called. That's, they're, that's a huge tree. Maybe I can get home in time enough to get the rest of this stuff out of the room. You know what I thought is that I'm just gonna p pile it in everything excess, pile it in the toy room. And if I can't access anything in the toy room, then that's fine. I'll just take what I can and I'll do it very, I'll just take what I can when I can and take one thing at a time, get rid of it, one thing at a time, get rid of it until I can get in further. But if I need something specific, I'm, I'm just not allowed to have it because I can't reach it. I think that is probably the best option. And my toy channel will probably suffer, but at this point, what has it done for me lately? I have to, fo I have to focus on, I have to focus on what's the most important and that is making room and abundance within abundance in my bank and less abundance in my home yeah 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 so this load i'll have to contend with later there's another load of just well, it's just that my top sheet is drying, uh, but I'll leave with that in the dryer, and I guess I'm going to bring the camera with me, and I'll show you in my bike everything that I'm bringing with me. Okay, last set done. Started wearing my YouTube tank tops cover my face, uh, got my parcels, my phone with my radio on it, and uh, I forgot my flip flops inside the house. So I'll do that before I lock the door. And that's it, I'll have to close this door too. <sighs> so the dollar store had toys that was next to the post office. They were half price and something that I really wanted, so I did buy some stuff, which isn't cool. I wonder how windy this is for you. It's windy today. Okay, it's probably, whoa, that's gonna wait. Oh God, oh God, oh! Just kidding, everything's fine. It's probably really windy, I apologize. The radio is playing in my ear right now. I'm addicted to toys. Maybe I should yell. I'm addicted and the Dollarama has all of these toys that I really want that were never in Canada. So I'm going around and every Dollarama gets a different case with a different one. So it's an assortment. 
It's really hard to explain. If you like toys, follow me on my toy channel. Anyway, my addiction has got the better of me, and I'm driving around to all of the Dollaramas in my immediate area, and there's lots of them, probably 10 or more, and I'm looking for the specific things. I don't know why I put myself under this stress, but I must like it. But, you know, I'm wasting the days and I'm supposed to be getting rid of stuff, but not getting more stuff. I just got home and I had a night swim. Really great. I love swimming at night, especially when it's warm. The mosquitoes out there though, but I managed to stay underwater so they didn't get me. I think, I don't know, I haven't seen a lot of bugs actually. In the past couple of days there have been lots of bugs, they seem harmless, lots of ants. I've been killing ants but I forgot to buy ant traps. I'll get them tomorrow. I think, I don't know what's going on with the, with the light. I think, I think tomorrow I'm going to be really bad and go on a super dollarama because of these toys that are available I have to hunt them down, they're very valuable. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, hopefully I'm going to, I'm going to do a little more laundry. I'm going to fold the stuff I have. I got a lot of cleaning and stuff to do. I'm going to eat my peach pie. Did I mention that? I found there is something wrong with the, I don't know. It, I guess it doesn't matter what I've, what the, what the quality looks like. I mean, the, the camera quality is much better than anything. Better recharge this battery. I'm going to eat the pie. I, okay, yeah, I found discount peach pie and discount pizza buns. I already ate four of the six pizza buns, and it's a 1.1 kilogram pie. I don't know what that is. It, that's a big ass pie, though, for you. <laughs> in in um, Imperial, that's big ass pie. And I'm gonna probably, I am gonna eat the whole thing. There's no way, I can't stop. Once I start, I have to finish whatever I start. It's funny that I didn't finish the pizza buns. But I was just in a hurry and I biked so much and then I'm gonna bike so much tomorrow so it's gonna be okay, even though it's more about the quality of the food that I put in my body than calories. I don't really think ever think about calories, I never have. I just like to put nutritious stuff in my, I mean, even when I do bad stuff, like I, candy over I like I like desserts that have fruit and stuff in them I'm always attracted to that like date squares and um, uh, yeah pies over cake um oh this is gonna be a long one but it's gonna be fun hopefully I'll edit this tonight I can't see how that's possible it's probably 10 o'clock now yeah and I have still so much to do. I'm gonna fold the laundry, like I said, d d dishes, I got some dishes to wash and clean, and yeah, and I'm just, I'll, I'll put on the practice. I love the practice, such a great law show. David E. Kelly, my favorite writer for television. I love you, I love you. That's two days in a row, still, still, still not cleaned up. But like I said, I am gonna put throw the stuff over into into the other room and not and yeah and and not even care. I'm gonna have to pull out the things that are really important to me. So I have to do some sorting. It's gonna take. I should give myself a goal to do this, but things come up, and I can't stop myself. Maybe I'll do a toy vlog on my toy channel about me going to all the Dollaramas in Mississauga, Ontario. I'll go in the opposite direction that I normally owned, that I went in today. So that it'll be all new Dollaramas and I'll be looking for hunting down toys that are a discount for Canada, but do you know what? They're probably more expensive still than what people pay in the States. The Canadian dollar is bad. Oh, that gas. Good thing I don't use gas, just my bicycle. I guess that's why I managed to 50!